came here to see this movie, 17 Seconds, and I'm just going to share a personal anecdote with you. What 17 Seconds means to me and will mean to me for the rest of my life, Troy Murray and I were in Boston doing the radio broadcast of the game, and it was nearing the end of the third period. The Blackhawks were down 2-1. to one. And I remember we took the final TV break, and I turned behind me to our engineer, Paul Zerang, and I turned just to, just to kind of get some information. I said, okay, Z, will we have the same setup we had here for Game 7 back at the UC? And Z looked at me and he says, we'll have a better setup in Game 7. He says, but Game 6 isn't over. And I kind of thought, okay, you know, I'm not going to disrespect the guy by going, yeah, right. So I said, oh, well, you're right. So I turned around, and within the next minute and a half, Patrick Kane carries the puck up ice. The Blackhawks gain the Bruin zone. They battle for the puck in the left wing corner. Jonathan Taves carries it along the goal line and finds Brian Bickle alone in front of the Boston net, and he slam dunks the tying goal home. 2 2. Now, we hadn't even settled in with that thought in our minds about how the Blackhawks had tied the score at two inside the final two minutes. And I remember turning to Troy Murray and thinking, here we go, deja vu all over again. Now, 2010, played the Philadelphia Flyers. That game six went to overtime. And of course, on Patrick Kane's game-winning goal, the Blackhawks were able to win the Stanley Cup, their first one in 49 years. And I'm thinking, is this one going to overtime too? And I had just written on my sheet the goal Bickle from Taves and the time of the goal. And I look up and I see the Blackhawk players. I was actually doing play-by-play -play as I was, you know, watching this all happen. And I remember the puck, Michael Froelich shot the puck from the right wing side of the Bruins zone. Took a rask, made the save, but he left the rebound along the left wing boards. There was Marcus Kruger, fed it back to Johnny Oduya. A simple play and a simple shot on goal by Oduya. Froelich tipped it, it hit the post, there was Dave Bolin out fighting Johnny Boychuk for that puck and scoring the game-winning goal. And I looked up, yeah. I looked up at the clock and I thought to myself, did that really just happen? 17 seconds after the tying goal? It did. And I remember, incredulously, I said on the radio or on the broadcast that night, the Blackhawks are 58 seconds away from the Stanley Cup. I, I couldn't believe I was actually saying it. Well, sure enough, the boys got it done, and the Blackhawks won their second Stanley Cup in four seasons. And I have to tell you, folks, I was part of an unbelievable ride by this hockey organization. For my money, the greatest organization in professional sports. And the fun that we had and the experiences that we had really are second to none. And you guys are fortunate here tonight. You're going to be able to see a lot of that. I know there's some footage in this, this, this film, 17 Seconds, that has been unseen up until tonight. So I hope all of you will enjoy it here tonight and walk away feeling the pride of being a Blackhawks fan because I feel it every day.